Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pernigal Plays. This is Palancron Concordance, a campaign created by a gentleman named Varanus, who I have not seen before or since. This is a campaign that came out very early on into StarCraft's lifespan, much like uh, the anti Chronicles and much of the other campaigns. Uh, this is also a voice-acted campaign, although I think also much like anti Chronicles, uh, the same voice actor, the one voice actor, is responsible for all of the voices. At least that's what I remember from my brief time with this campaign way back when, I think when it was still uh, rather current, so I was very young. Just another one of those campaigns that was uh, part of my formative years. This campaign was supposed to have eight missions, but only ever saw four released, at least in any instance of it existing I can find. There's references to eight maps, but only four of them ever made it out there, it seems. So uh, maybe somebody is more knowledgeable about this project than I am and can direct me to the remaining four maps if they do in fact exist and they are in your possession. Let me know. But um, presumably only four were ever finished slash released. Uh, so that's that. Mission one, the next wave. Not long after the death of Jared de Gaulle, a leftover UED force in the Caprulu sector touches down on Core Hall. Let's get right into it. Egyptians online. Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. Welcome to Core Hall, Commander. I'm UED Captain Lance Bader. You were summoned here because a matter of utmost importance has arisen, and we understand you've had some experience in such matters. My men stayed here when Gerard Dugal headed for home two months ago, and it's good we did because Kerrigan ripped his fleet apart. Unfortunately, recently we discovered a massive Zerg force here that was hunting us down as well. Those Zerg were being led not by Kerrigan, but by a solitary Cerebrate. Using a team of medics, we were able to subdue and capture the Cerebrate, thus taking control of its army. But just two weeks ago, some sort of sentient Zerg, a beast calling itself Mawkor, ravaged our base and freed the Cerebrate from our control. The Cerebrate was then relocated by a team of its minions and disappeared from our scanners. But now we've found it again. It's taking refuge in Augustgrad, close to a Protoss expeditionary contingent from Shakoris. The fact that the Zerg haven't attacked the Protoss suggests that they're in league somehow. But that can't be possible. I've sent my right-hand man, Roland Weinkoff, to help you in this mission. Roland? Commander, your mission is quite simple. If I am close enough to the Cerebrate, I can implant the remote control device into the creature that will allow us to subjugate it again, this time for good. It is not the Overmind, but for our purposes, a Cerebrate will suffice. And there you have it, Commander. I presently have other problems to deal with, but I'll be monitoring your progress. I expect nothing short of success from you. Good luck. Yeah, pretty unceremonious voice acting. You had, like, the, the pitch-shifted advisor guy whose adjutant sounds are for some reason, like those, like, robotic notification electronic beeping noises or whatever the din din, that is really really like overdriven somehow like the the production on it was like ramped up i don't know why but it makes it really grating um so unfortunately that's just something we have to deal with i apologize in advance because it's on all of the adjutant alerts so when you're under attack when your research is completed you get to hear that uh and then you had wine Kampf who was uh just you know he, he was he, he'll be back. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Uh, but yeah, fairly unceremonious voice acting. Fairly simple plot. The uh, map design is not too incredible. As I remember. So we'll uh, get right down to business here. I am here. I'm open to suggestions. Yeah, we know you are. So we start out with 500 of both resources. It would be prudent to grab an early factory, I think. And then I am just going to go ahead and check my settings here real quick. Mm, yeah, that looks good. We're actually going to lower the... Uh, well, we can keep the, the music volume at it. The way it is right now. But I just want to lower the in-game volume a bit because of the aforementioned issue with... Uh, Mr. Science Vessel Adjutant Man's uh, unit responses, so we'll try and keep that relatively clean. Uh, mostly just stocking up on units, and we'll go, go ahead and grab a bunker here pretty sh shortly. I want to saturate this mineral field a little bit more and obviously get siege mode for this tank as early as possible. And I would like to scout 
uh, scout out ahead, we see the Cerebrate along with a beacon that we can go to right over here. Uh, which is obviously going to be pretty important since that is the main objective. Um, oh, we're actually at the supply cap. Let's go ahead and fix that problem. And take this gentleman here. And uh, I would like to scout out... I'm pretty sure the enemies... Mo I mean, we are in the top right. But I'm pretty sure the enemies can mostly only target us from this direction. Unless they have transports. And they may very well have transports. But why don't we go ahead and set up a, a bit of a foothold over here. Oh, this is unlucky timing. It's just three Zerglings, so I think we can handle that. Um, let's see. We need a couple more minerals here for Siege Mode research. We'll go ahead and grab that. And then just in case they do, I have played this mission semi-recently. I'm pretty sure the Protoss do drop on you at some point. I have a little bit of prior map knowledge as a result of my meddling. Uh, it, was, it was like a, a about a month ago, actually. I was attempting to... Um, oh, yeah. That was the other thing. This comes with its own EXE, obviously, because you can see you have, like, modded portraits and unit responses and stuff, and he shoots a, a Wraith laser, and that's pretty cool. I forgot to show that off. But, yeah. Um, what was I saying? This, I do have a bit of prior knowledge, and I'm pretty sure the, the AI on this mission is a little over the top. Um, certainly not designed in a modern sense, although rarely do you see AI that are designed in any modern sense at all. Yeah, there's that really loud oh, unit sound that we saw there. Do we have a kill in the tank? We do. I just want to see how many units they actually attack me with. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's a total of six... Three Zerglings, three Zealots, so... I think the uh, Zerg AI is not much to worry about. just want to confirm that this is, in fact, an... Yeah, so they would have to drop around over here. So we'll just go ahead and set up a bunker back at home, just for the sake of keeping everything in sh uh, tip-top shape. Oh, man, I gotta avoid hearing that sound as often as possible. Um, and then I think... Uh, you, I know there's an expansion to the top left, and there's an expansion somewhere else we can get as well. Let's go ahead and scout out and see if we can find that. Go ahead and siege. Um, okay. Jesus Christ, that's so infuriating. Okay, and then we can go ahead and plug these guys in here. We'll go ahead and bring Roland down here, because that seems to be where we're mostly getting attacked. And then go ahead and sit down another siege tank down there as well. I've been thinking about maybe putting together something of a, like a, I don't even know how you'd describe it. Something of a framework mod for remastered, similar to my 116.1 mod, but it wouldn't have any of the plugins. Yeah, this is the expansion. It's pretty easy to take. It wouldn't have any of the plugins, um, besides like the AI related ones that are compatible with everything, I think. So I don't know how useful it would be, but uh, it would have things like, you know, putting siege mode and siege, uh, siege mode and tank mode, having them be queuable, I think is a nice little quality of life change. Um, what else? There's a couple of different things that would definitely be useful. Or just, just nice things to have, I think. So we'll go ahead and drop this expansion down here pretty soon. It can fit there, that's good enough. We'll go ahead and swap out our hockeys there, we don't need this on a hockey. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and start rallying some units over there. I like keeping one SCV nearby in d under normal circumstances, but right now I think I'd rather have the the mineral c mining potential. And I, I just think that's a superior choice in this case, especially since we have our hero down here. We've got two tanks down there. I'm not really worried about, like, the longevity of that area. We'll go ahead and put down a supply depot close to here. Yeah, that sounds good. Just to... To keep the uh, this depot somewhat safe from melee combatants. And then I guess we could get a tank if we wanted to be super careful. Um, we have a, a bit of an excess of gas here. So why don't we go ahead and drop an engineering bay. Make that area a little bit uh, even more safe, presumably. And then a, an academy would be nice. Not just for uh, fire bats for our bunkers for, uh, against zerglings and zealots. Oh, nice. We uh, can see the tanks going to work. Roland as well doing quite a bit of work himself. Why don't we go ahead and repair this and then just send him back home afterwards. Um, we have the extra supplies, so we'll go ahead and 
start rallying SCVs over in this direction. We could still definitely continue to saturate the space, but it's I think it's more important to saturate this one right now. Like we we're still probably like eight SCVs away from full saturation in that base. Okay, well good timing. Um Yeah, the engineering bay we definitely want to get start getting upgrades. Um let's see. You can go over here. And then generally speaking, I'd like to get an academy. And then another supply depot pretty soon as well, though we can sort of skate by without a supply depot for the time being, because we just got this command center. I don't know. Why don't we take Roland here and uh, see if we can find a way up to this base, because I'm pretty sure there is a, a base over here. So this is actually, a, I think, a prime example of... Um, set up a bunker... Barracks. I guess we could use a tank over there, but it's a lot of money to spend. A prime example of really old, like, game theory when it comes to map design. Like, you have a lot of expansions. That's kind of cool, I guess. Let's us uh, do large scale macro from the first map. But there's no interaction with the AI in the early areas. Like, it would be great to have some guards placed there. And by, by guards, I just mean, like, literally what you might think of things as guards. Like, when you have, uh, um, what is it? When you have, like, units owned by the AI that are placed in, a in the general vicinity. Oh my god. That are just, yeah, they're just, like, in the, in the area. I think we can build everything. Yeah, we have no tech limits on the first missions. Also, very old style of, uh, of game theory in that sense. Um, yeah, we'll send this tank over here. I guess we, you know what we could even do is start uh, getting, I don't want to get, like, mutilisked. I think the units can technically go from that direction as well, so. Honestly, it wouldn't hurt to just get a barracks up here in case we need to reinforce. Like, this is a lot of, like, really safe prep work. I don't know how necessary all this is. Um, but I do know that attacking into the enemy base is quite frustrating. Um, why don't we send this guy here? Because, again, I don't know what to... What to expect in most of these cons uh, circumstances. Go ahead and grab two more fire bats. Set this tank up here. We have marine range now. We'll go ahead and get plating. Oh yeah, see this is this is why we need bunkers. Hey, assholes, get in here. Okay, I think we only lost uh, a couple of SCVs there. I guess we can fully saturate this now. Presumably, we're going to need it. Okay. What? Well, there you go. Wine Kampf was killed. I wasn't even paying attention, so now i got to restart the whole fucking thing. What a... What a lark. What a wonderful mission. <laughs> no, that's just my fault for not even realizing that we were being attacked in there. I'm, I'm definitely on the, the slow end of the table here this time around. Why don't we just go ahead and take that expansion early on? Because I think I did a lot of unnecessary early prep work. Uh, since we know that the Zerg attack first, we can just move all of our units down in that direction. We don't have to worry about making new units. Just hold position on this thing. Obviously, the, the early attacks of, like, three Zerglings and three Zealots, not necessary to have any degree of, like, tech to uh, deal with those. And uh, we start off with enough resources to expand early without worrying about anything else, so I don't see why we should fret too much. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Really? Fucking critters. Okay. Um... Yeah, why don't we also set up a... Supply depot. We'll do it right in front of where we plan on putting the bunker. I think that's a good idea. I mean, see, you start off with very little in this mission, right? So there's not really a lot to keep you occupied while you just build up. It's fa fairly vanilla. You know, it's nothing super special. Um, so nothing stands out about it, for sure. But one of the things that I noticed with a lot of these early campaigns is that they, they don't they don't give you a lot of restrictions, that's for sure. And uh, sort of part and parcel with that is that you are expected to just sort of build, like, you're sort of expected to fail enough times to know what to, what is expected of you. Um... And there's not really an easy way to know any of that. So. 
I think we can just saturate that from the ground up and not really worry about it too much. Uh, yeah, let me also scout out that other expansion that I can get with Weinkampf, so I know where to go for the most part. Don't say problemo. Okay, we'll uh, send you up here. And then I know that there are three zealots that are going to come in this direction. We'll go ahead and rally some more marines. I, I figure setting up a second bunker over here couldn't hurt. So that maybe that Weinkampf tragedy doesn't happen again. And then uh, let's spend our money on another factory for more tanks. And then, uh, yeah, prioritizing this base seems like the right decision. Obviously we need more supplies later on, but yeah. I mean, it's just a lot of really minuscule tasks. Send this guy down here. A lot of repetitive tasks over and over again. Yeah, there's the third one. Okay. Um, we can't set that up yet, so why don't we grab the engineering bay? There's more gas. We're definitely going to need gas in the late stages. I, mean, I could just go like a really dumb mass battlecruiser strategy and see if I can wipe the whole map. Protoss base is somewhere down here, and it's pretty hard to break into, if I remember correctly. Because obviously you're not supposed to break into it. It's mostly just supposed to sit there and, you know, aggravate you, as opposed to offering a significant challenge. And that's not to say that it's, uh... The attacks aren't menacing. I also really like this. How do you do this as a game? As Like, how? How is the tank over... <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why don't we uh, send you over here? We'll go ahead and set up a barracks. And an academy. And we'll grab siege mode. I hate going to zero resources without ordering up workers in the early game because it really is a bad idea for your, um, for your macro purpose. Just gun this idiot down, please. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and set up a bunker here. I figure we can probably hold with just one bunker in this area, because I doubt that they're going to attack with a, a large number of units. I could be completely wrong. We could also try and wall it off with that barracks, plus a couple of uh, supply depots and stuff. Like, just lift the barracks up, move it over. And then once we get a tank over in this direction, it's obviously a lot easier to hold an area. I need to go ahead and set this up. Um, yeah, I can hop in. You're going to... Well, actually, you can set that up. And then I want you to set up a supply depot. I'm going to land here. you got to stop with that beep. It's not allowed. Go ahead and get U-238. Shells. We'll rally a tank down here. I guess we could get a second bunker. I'm, I'm not... It's... Yeah, I think it's fine. We'll put, like, two fire bats in this one and two marines. Well, maybe not. Maybe just the standard issue. Stuff, nothing special. Um, yeah, go ahead and order this up. Why don't you come up here and... Actually, if we could get a missile turret over in this direction, in case of any errant mutalisks. Speaking of which, I have nothing protecting me from that mutalisk attack that I know is going to show up here and fuck me. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and save. So this is Palin Cron Concordance. It's a really needlessly long save title. But hey, man. Go ahead and put a turret down there. Seems reasonable. Let's uh, leave enough space for my SCV to come in and repair that. And then uh, I'll start rallying some more stuff. Just grab a couple extra Marines and in case we need them. Okay. Base is under attack. Go ahead and repair that. No, I guess not. All right, well, he got a utterly obliterated, but that's fine. Hey, I think I'm building a supply depot, aren't I? I hope so. If not, well, wouldn't be the first time I got supply blocked. I don't think it'll be the last. Uh, why don't we go ahead and make a starport here? Holy fucking loud. That is so loud. Okay. Uh, we can bring you over here. That's fine. And then, I guess just more supplies. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and send a guy up here to... Oh, wow, that's pretty nice. I'm going to send a guy up there to uh, expand. Caduceus Reactor seems like a good idea. 
Um, actually, I want Goliaths and Karen Booster. Are we not fully saturated on that, guys? Or we are not. We're definitely not on this one. There's only one guy on here. We need four. Siege. And a medic is fine. Okay. Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape here. Go ahead and uh, get some more units all around. Repair, repair. We need a couple fire bats. I keep almost hitting that tab button. Just uh, rally through him. That's fine. Okay, maybe we should move this tank so that he's in a bit of a better position. Because this cactus dude at it is actually a pathing blocker. Alright, just uh, do this. No fire bats from That's fine. Yeah, we have literally ac we, we have access to everything. So I don't even know what we should get. I guess we can get some science vessels. Hope that those are on the useful side. Um, to that, do that, we'll obviously need a science facility. Our tech is all the way out here, like, a very exposed. I don't know if I like it over in that direction. Go ahead and set up another armory in the back, I suppose. And then another engineering bay over here. And then, I think another factory, for just for production. At this point, we can start worrying about uh, what we're going to do with our... Uh, what do we got? Wow, that's loud. Holy shit. Could you please calm down? Yeah, I think I'm going to send Roland back over here as well. We'll start uh, start getting gathering an at attack force and a mastery over the English language while we do it. you got to stop it now. All right, infantry armor sounds good. We're going to get access to the Tier 2 weapons pretty soon, which is very exciting, and presumably we can also get Tier 3. We use the scanner sweep to verify my suspicions. Oh yeah, they've got arbiters. They've got reavers. They've got carriers. They've got everything. How did this happen? Let's also go ahead and grab stims. Get this Goliath on the case. Pull back. Alright, I think we've done that pretty well. Go ahead and grab another Goliath. Oh, it looks like they killed my factory worker. Okay, do we want ghosts? I think we want ghosts, actually, and I think I'm going to get a nuke silo. I'm glad I didn't build anything on this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab a bunch of SCVs for this. Oh, wowee. Holy crap, that's a lot of units. Go ahead and siege up. We're expecting company. Yeah, we're gonna need to start getting more Goliaths. Go ahead and repair this. Alright, you can come back and land. I think they lost interest. I hope they lost interest. Yeah, it, it appears they lo have indeed lost interest. Oh, fire bats. Confusing them. Something's confusing them. I don't know what it is. These reinforcement SCVs I ordered up are quite useful. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and set up some supply depots. And then we're going to go ahead and grab two nuke silos. And start grabbing ghosts when we can. Let's go ahead and get cloaking. I had no idea I needed additional supply depots. You are truly very informative with your gigantic beeping sounds. Uh, let's hold off on that, because we're going to need the gas. Is there a geyser over here? There is. There's actually a lot of resources in this map. Holy moly. So why don't we go ahead and set up another supply depot, and then just, like, a mi Well, I don't know. I don't want to do that, because then it'll block off our gas mining. So let's try and be a little bit... Have a little bit of foresight here. Um, okay, relax. Wow, that is so grating. I don't know how it got to be like that. And nobody... Gave a shit, but it's actually giving me a bit of a headache. Alright, let's pull these units over here. Let's actually unseize these ones and move them up a little bit, because I pulled the wrong tanks. We got a lot of Goliaths. Looks like we're due for an attack from the Zerg as well pretty soon. Yeah, two Ultralisks. This is pretty fearsome. Let's see if we can pull them away. Indeed we can. Alright, why don't you come over here and repair this stuff? Yeah, that was pretty good, actually. We uh, didn't lose anything. Some more units coming in, but I think our base can handle it. 
Okay. And then it's just Depot City mostly. Go ahead and get ocular implants. A couple of ghosts. Can't hurt. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Maybe a drop ship to ferry him around in. And then I think we're getting all the upgrades we can get. Oh, no, we're actually not. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. At this point, we want to make sure that we're protecting our bases adequately. Which means probably grab a tank and bring them up here. And then we need marines. Oh, we have a, a barracks over here we can definitely bring marines in. From. English. And we have a, a lot of SCVs rolling in here, so this should be mostly, like, bought and paid for in that respect. Um, hold on. <laughs> let's, let's move this guy back a little bit. I kind of didn't want to put, put him there for some dumb reason. I don't know what my reasoning was, really. Okay. Okay, we get it. Beep. Okay. Um, yeah. Come over here. Alright, I think we're... Okay. Another Protoss attack. That was pretty quick. There's only a few minutes in between. Although at the same time, these attacks are pretty easy to hold off. with just a few tanks and a couple of units. and They're only 1-1. One, one. The issue is they'll only get stronger as time goes on. So it's still fairly concerning. Especially since I, I just... I remember playing this before and it was a pain in my ass. That it even existed in, at all. Is there another uh, marine coming our way? There is. We'll go ahead and bring a fire bat as well. And then more supply depots. And then a million notifications. What base is under attack? There's a reaver. Um, we do not have lockdown, so this is a bit of a problem. We can try and... See what we can do here. Oh, okay. I was trying to dropship micro there. I only got the idea after my ghost already got hit, of course. Okay, why don't you just grab like a a Goliath with you or something? I don't know. And then we're also seeing some signs of life from the Zerg. We have no medics for our lonely marine here, so he's dead. And then, uh, yeah, honestly, let's grab another couple of structures here. I think uh, another set of barracks would be great. Let's also grab Lockdown, since we just saw that we could use it. Um, I guess we could get Restore. I think I remember Defiler's Plaguing a lot, so we might have to worry about that. Oh yeah, maybe it would help if we went ahead and repaired that before it burned down while getting us an upgrade. Seems pretty useful. We'll also grab one of the... Uh, let's grab two of the tanks. Since for... It's weird to me that they... Maybe that wasn't... Uh, maybe that was part of the attack that attacked us earlier. And they just dropped them there. I can imagine the AI doing something like that. Because for some reason there's some hard-coded junk... Related to how the AI handles Reavers. And when they move... They use shuttles for part of their movement. So, uh, Unfortunately it's not very well mapped out or documented or anything. But it's a thing. Okay. Uh, of course, we need supply depots. Um, that's yeah, fine. Let's go ahead and just set up another one somewhere. Doesn't matter where. We are training a lot of units, so I guess it only makes sense. Uh, let's also use our scanner sweep. Looks like they are coming in with some units. We should be able to shoot them down with relative ease. Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. Looks like they're massing up for an assault somewhere, but I don't know where that could be. So just preemptively... Oh, that's great. I How did I know that was going to happen? I also think they have access to mind control, which is not a pleasant idea. It's a good thing we have most of our ghosts in dropships, so that we don't have to worry about getting feedbacked. At the same time, holy cow. Oh, no. Wow, why does it do so much damage? Holy fucking shit! This is just un not allowed. This is one of the reasons why this map was so difficult, I remember now. Yeah. 
Who could have guessed? Let's go ahead and drop the, uh... Drop that guy! Yeah, that's another reason. Uh, oh, wow, thanks. I had no no idea. Oh, that's so nice of you. Well, I'm at least not supply blocked anymore. Can't restore that. Um, I don't even know what to do with these units, honestly. Oh. Wow, that's so nice. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, well, we have no air units. We never did build any Valkyries or Wraiths or anything. We lost all of our Goliaths to Plague, so we're fucked. Well, somehow this is... in range. We never did put this guy in here. I guess that was a good time as any. We dodged the damage too, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty pretty good. Pretty professional, if I don't say so myself. Okay. Can we nuke you? No. All of our units are dead, probably. The dropship full of units, dead. For sure. No, I actually sent it back. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of myself. Look at all- These are all just spellcasters doing fucking nothing but storming us for no fucking reason. Pieces of shit, I tell you. Okay. Now, pretty close to being dead, so we gotta- We gotta be a little careful here. Let's go ahead and save. And, again... Um... This doesn't really seem like it's remotely worthwhile for me to drop on or anything. Um, let's also grab a... Well, actually, I think we're pretty close to... The, uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm saying we're, we're probably pretty close to... The max, like, upgrade capacity for most of our units. What is this? What are you guys doing? Huh? Bunch of goofballs? Where did all my ghosts go? Oh, they must have gotten feedback, LOL. Wowie, what an infuriating first mission, let me tell you. I don't even know how... This is... I remember thinking to myself that this mission feels really unbeatable without cheats. And I don't know if this was like an accomplishment or something. Like this is like a personal vendetta that somebody had. The map designer had, in some capacity. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Why are all my SCVs doing nothing? I told them to go work. Bye. Go to work. Dumb idiots. Okay, we need Goliaths. We need Marines. Sure, Medics. Where are the rest of my... Did I order my Wraiths down here? I did. So what am I doing? Besides losing all my units to Dark Swarm. What is going on? I mean, this is obviously an attack, but there's also, like... A, I mean, it's an attack on my fucking insanity, that's for sure. Oh, my Dark Swarm. Oh, my... Me. Okay. Do they even have upgrades? They do. They have Adrenal Glands. Okay, we need to scan here. Look at all the Defilers, by the way. Okay. They're also retreating, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to catch them. No, I didn't think so. We don't even have any ghosts, so that we we can't even use the nukes that we have because all of our ghosts got get instantly feedbacked by our big buddies, the dark dark archons. I could reload that save, but now I can't. So don't ask me to. We're bound to get guardianed as soon as we do this. Uh, that's why I brought those wraiths down, but they all died to drop ships. I mean, to drop ships. That's that's funny. Bring the rest of our units down. We're, I'm sure we're going to get Psy Stormed here pretty soon. Like, for some reason, they just... Anytime you do anything... Yeah, okay. How am I supposed to use spellcasters in this... By the way. How? How? Oh, hello. Alright. How am I supposed to do anything in this... It's, again, what I'm... That's what I'm saying. Like, what? Am, what is the counterplay? The proposed counterplay. I like set up. I remember one of the times that I played this. I set up a, an entire setup. I set up an entire setup, by the way, where I 
Hold on, I gotta find that Reaver. Where is he? Where is he? Where'd he go? What the fuck? He must be on on the way somewhere. Oh, there he is. He was just confused. Okay, we definitely need more wraiths. Okay, ghosts, please. Goliaths. Send some some more down here. And yeah, more ghosts, I think. Look at all these SCVs. We can do nothing with them. Okay, holy shit, that is so triggering at this point. Okay, do we have all the upgrades that we need? We're 3-3 three, three on infantry. We're 3-3 three, three on mech. We're pretty weak on every on air, but I'm not super worried about that. Move the uh, Goliaths up a little bit. And then the solution... To, where did those wraiths go? Oh, there they are. I'm freaking out. The solution to queens is wraiths, believe it or not. So why don't we go ahead and rally these guys down here. Uh, the solution to that is getting our SCVs out here and A-moving them into the base. I Okay, the solution to hearing this guy's voice is turning off unit acknowledgements, but I've already been through... Attack and the Phoenix. I would really like to not have to worry about that in this campaign as well. All right, let's just say move these guys out. I don't care. That is the whole point. Oh, we might. We can actually snipe out the. Uh... Yeah, we can actually snipe out some of these units. Okay, we don't need you over here, man. Oh yeah, he was chasing the queen, actually. That makes sense. Yeah, wraiths are really, really good at dealing with stuff like this. Uh, while we have some of these guys here, we can actually not suicide some of them. And use them for repairs and stuff. Which I highly recommend. Why don't we go also go ahead and set up some turrets over here. They are going to be necessary. And uh, I would like to get more stuff, but, I mean, at this point, we are at the supply cap. I mean, uh, at the resource cap. We cannot get any more resources. So I don't want to build any more supply depots, even though I already just did. Because it's very unlikely that we'll get to the point where we actually need them. Or can fill those those uh, holes or whatever because of the nature of the beast. Okay, so... Which one is parasited? We actually don't want parasite on our units. Um... The AI can target them if they can see them. So ideally, we don't have to worry about that. I guess we'll go ahead and repair this. Uh, stop. He's dead. He's doomed to die. Stop it. Stop it. No. We could uh, unsiege these units and actually use them for something. But we're kind of in the way of these SCVs who are trying to suicide. I think maybe if we hug the cliff here... Okay, get, if you're not going to do anything, you might as well make yourself useful and repair stuff. Let's come over here and kill this guy. Kill this guy, too. You know what? I think they actually did damage to that thing. That's pretty crazy. Okay. So now, the cloak. And... I mean, I think if we just get rid of a lot of this stuff, we'd be in pretty good shape. Oh! We may need to call upon our wraiths to get through this. Let me scan here. We're just going to nuke here. Because I I know there's a bunch of like pre-placed units and stuff. Okay, and we have the cash to replace these nukes as necessary. And like I said, we might need to use our wraiths. We do not have cloaking for them because I am a Mongol. Let's go ahead and save. Okay. Let's see what that did for us. What? They're just massing outside and sniping my wraiths when they go by. What a bunch of assholes. Okay. Let's see if we can pull them a little bit further. Alright. Yeah, it looks like we've got them. No, they get stasis. And... Disruption, by the way. 
Uh, we have lockdown. We can do this. We can do that too. <laughs> oh, they can do it back to us. You don't say. I wonder what could be attacking me. I wonder if I will ever get my units back. Any year now. Any year now. Any fucking year now. Any millennia now. This guy doesn't even have any interceptors. Holy cow. That was so crazy. Um, why don't we take this SCV down here and we'll just re restock this stuff. I see you, Observer. Fuck you, Observer. Okay. We're still getting stuff. We're getting stuff done. I think I left those ghosts on cloak like a, a true M-word. I sure did. That's why we have other ghosts down here somewhere. Hopefully. No? They all died? Okay. Well, these two will have to do. Oh, actually, some of them are all the, all the way down here already. That's pretty exciting. Okay, we'll leave a couple of ghosts down here in case we need to do that again. As well as a couple of Goliaths. Um, these two go Where are those two ghosts? Okay, here they are. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now's the time where it gets a little more fun. Um, maybe not. Well, actually, we'll just go ahead and grab these wraiths. We can come in here. Fuck these guys. Guardians are important to get rid of. I knew that was coming. I don't know why they bothered ensnaring me afterwards, but whatever. Oh, why did I even bother cloaking, by the way? That's pretty cool. Oh my fucking god. I can't see what's detecting me, so... That's pretty nice. No. What is going on? What is happening over here? Oh, they're defending my base. My frontier over here that I've set up. Oh, that's pretty cool, too. Okay, let's grab these ghosts and bring them down here. I mean, the problem now is getting close enough to actually use our nukes. Don't do that. We also have to rebuild all of our lost rates, and we can't because we don't have any money. So we got to be pretty judicial. Um, hmm. I mean, obviously, this is a. I mean, this isn't really a problem. It's just sort of. That was like an attack that was half-assed there. Wow, that's a dancing ultralisk if I've ever seen one. Okay, kill this. Oh, we cannot. Oh, well, he helped us out, though. And we, the other guy splashed us. That was pretty nice. That was pretty nice of that guy. Was mighty whitey of him. Okay, beautiful. Holy shit. Okay. That's gonna summon some overlords. We gotta move this way. Oh, there's a lot more units coming, actually. Um, so the question is, I think I actually just want to come down here and nuke this. And just try and push my way through this area. Yeah, we gotta turn and, and prioritize this stuff. Okay, this is where we can try and... Yeah, okay, we sniped that. That's fine. That's destroyed, okay. If we can get a drop down onto that platform, we might be able to do something with our existences. I don't know. The Protoss are being a little bit less aggressive than I expected them to be, honestly, so... This is okay. Let's try and cross the bridge. We'll save. We'll try and cross the bridge. Um, we're very much out of money at this point, so whatever we have here is about what we can expect to be able to use. Um, we just got attacked by the blue AI, so I'm not worried about that. And we'll go ahead and hope that these guys do not have guard all. I mean, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do about this. This last fucking asshole, SC, uh, Zealot. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have guard all, so we should be able to just come through here. Guard all makes... I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. makes the AI guard everything it owns. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit that. And 
Yeah, okay, they are guarding that. Oh, I'm surprised that wasn't all 100% broodling. Okay, why don't we go ahead and siege up here. Uh, you're pretty low on energy, so we'll just cloak this guy. And scan here. Zerg here. Ooh, 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 ooh. And we'll nuke that. And then we'll go ahead and grab another nuke. Um, this is an emergency. I see that. Unfortunately, he's dead because I am the true Mongol. Really? Fuck off. Uh, I do not have another nuke ready. I am a professional. Um, we have a save. We could reload. <laughs> I might have to, honestly. Uh, let's bring these guys over here. That's a lot of money down the drain that I cannot really replace. Um, especially if we get attacked by the Protoss, we are fucked right now. The Zerg have undoubtedly a large defense network set up. Like, I'm sure they have a huge defense garrison and just a lot of... What are you guys doing besides getting in my way? Uh, just a huge amount of units that are undoubtedly going to get in the way. This is this is cool. This is great. Remastered, by the way. Fucking... <laughs> Broke-ass fuck game. Just a solid, solid snake shit. Incredible. And screenshot that. That's one for the uh, one for the ages for sure. Okay. Well, maybe the AI is broken. Actually, it hasn't really done anything lately. We'll go ahead and wipe that out just to give us a little bit more maneuvering room. And I really just want to charge in here, and we got to get Wine Comp down here as well. So we might as well go ahead and unload him. Bring uh, bring him down here into this drop ship, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save here because this is obviously the best place to be. Uh, let's try this again. I don't even know what detected me this time, but we'll go ahead and just nuke here instead. Oh, well, we are, we have not even cloaked this time, so I am a, I am really, really selling myself short this time by calling myself a, a... Whatever I called myself, a professional. Why? Why is that a real thing? Okay, let's go ahead and save again. And... Or load again, rather. Actually cloak. Thanks. And, uh... Try this. So this won't kill that uh, spore colony, I'm pretty sure, but I mean that's not really the point. Oh my god, he died again, anyways. That one fucking asshole piece of shit guy. Okay, I I'm saving again because I really don't want to have to hear that sound effect ever again. That's going to infuriate me just throughout this campaign. That the fact that that even exists. Um, okay, let's go ahead and siege. And just start getting, like, a defensive network set up, because they're going to attack me with everything they fucking own as soon as they... Um, as soon as I attack the that Guardian preemptively, they're going to do that, so that's kind of unmanageable. Uh, let's go ahead and drop these guys here. We have a lot of units just idly sitting around for defense and stuff that we can obviously bring down as well. Um, okay, what is up here? Will they bring the Guardian down here this time? It doesn't look like. We have enough for another nuke. And we have another one already done. Thanks. That was pretty necessary. Alright. Uh, yeah. What else is new? Alright, why don't you siege? Don't do that. Um, and we'll just nuke right here. I don't really care that my base is under attack right now, because presumably we've won the game. We have wine conf here. We have everything we need to win. So I'm not worried about that. Yeah, go ahead and morph right there. That's fine. Okay. Beautiful. Huh. That's something I never thought I would see. It's a ghost killing a fucking devourer. Pretty insane. Okay. Uh, don't do that. We have another nuke. Do we save it or use it now? What would we use it on? I mean, what is the objective exactly? Bring Winecom to the server. That's it. So why don't we go ahead and save here. 
and grab Weinkampf and just stim him and run him in there. See what happens. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can win the game that way. Uh oh. What? Wait, what's going on? Oh no. Cutscene, guys. He's dead already, man. Oh yeah, it definitely broke. I know what happened. Orders to save your ass. You will thank me later. What the What was that sound effect? Oh, you will see. Roland, I have some bad news. The server just vanished from our scanners again. Oh my god. Diverting us to cover the server's amazingly quick escape. The hunt's just beginning. It doesn't even feel like the main voice actor. I mean, as the guy who made it consummate and basically did all the voice acting, I can sympathize. But it doesn't even seem like the guy made an attempt to diversify his voice beyond the advisor guy and Weinkampf. Everybody else sounds exactly the same. Makor is like just a sea of flange and underwater sound effects. Um, the dialogue is really what puzzles me, though. The dialogue gets me because you have... Like, that last line where Bader was like, Oh, the Serb, it's amazingly quick escape. <laughs> like, it's almost like he knew, like, this doesn't make any sense. The Serb has really just made it out real quick. I don't know. And the reason why we're center viewed in the middle of the map here is because there's a location that's on a preserve trigger to center onto any, whatever Kyle Richter's unit is. So presumably, like, uh, an Alexei ghost. Um, so it, it center views on any Kyle Richter at anywhere. And because there's none there, it just centers to the middle of the map. And that's why and we were the trigger action was presumably center view on that location. So that's why that's happening, in case anybody's curious. Um, you can actually get around this, even if the unit does die, by making a part of the condition all players command at least one whatever unit you're trying to center to as part of the... If that's a condition, then it won't. It'll, it just won't happen at all if the there are no units there. That's what I like to do just as a failsafe, but... Either way, it's pretty minor compared to everything else that's on the mission. So, yeah, like I said at the beginning of the map, uh, very old design philosophies and design paradigms. I'm not, obviously not the best player, and I went through this mission in a really probably bizarre way. I guess presumably if you just had, like, tanks and battle cruisers, you probably could have won a lot faster than I did. But I kind of didn't want to build battle cruisers, first of all. And uh, I guess maybe Plague would have fucked me anyways. I, I would have had to have uh, a lot of medic sets ready with Restore and Caduceus Reactor, which I did have. But... I would have had to actually use them, which I didn't do when I, all my Wraith fleet got absolutely fucked. So that was hilarious. Hope you're enjoying them so far. I guess I'll show, go ahead and show the score screen while I'm talking anyways. Um, 
a fairly simple mission and uh, very puzzling story that it's set around. It's like the, the setting is very bizarre and the mission itself is very mundane. So I don't really know if there's anything to really latch onto there, but uh, there's only three more maps. So presumably it won't be a long ride, even if it's an unenjoyable one. Um, we'll see. I think the next mission is a, a micro mission, or there is at least one installation mission, and I'm pretty sure there's like a female hydralisk somewhere down the line. Fairly certain. Don't quote me on that. Actually, do quote me on that, because I'm absolutely positive that some weird fan fiction Terran X hydralisk crossplay shit happens at some point, so be prepared for anything. And I'll see you in the next video.